Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is another edition of Reading Through the Bible. Today on Christians Unite Bible Readings, we're going to be reading James chapter 2, Warning Against Prejudice. My brothers, in your life as believers in our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory, you must never treat people in a different way because of their outward appearance. Suppose a rich man wearing a gold ring and fine clothes comes into your meeting, and a poor man in ragged clothes also comes in. If you show more respect to the well-dressed man and say to him, Have this best seat here, but say to the poor man, Stand or sit down on the floor by my seat. Then you are guilty of creating a distinction among yourselves and making judgment based on evil motives. Listen, my dear brothers. God chose the poor people of the world to be rich in faith and to possess the kingdom which he promised to those who loved him. But you dishonor the poor. Who oppresses you and drags you before the judges? The rich. They are the ones who speak evil of that good name which God has given you. You will be doing the right thing if you obey the law of the kingdom, which is found in scripture. Love your neighbor as yourself. But if you treat people according to the outward appearance, you are guilty of sin, and the law condemns you as a lawbreaker. For whoever breaks one of the commandments of the law is guilty of breaking them all. For the same one who said, do not commit adultery, also said, do not kill. Even if you do not commit adultery, you have become a lawbreaker if you kill. Speak and act as men who will be judged by the law that sets men free. For God will not show mercy when he judges the man who has not been merciful. But mercy triumphs over judgment. So this section of scriptures, we need to be treating people equally. So we need to be showing respect to every single person uh, that we can, no matter what they look like. Uh, we have no idea what people's stories are, what what they've been going through. Um, there's a lot of churches out there, unfortunately, that if someone walked in with tattoos um, and then kind of dirty clothes, they would not treat them the same way. That's not what we should be doing because every single person God loves. God loves everyone, so she, so shall we. And that's very important for us to know because how can we spread the, new, the good news of Jesus Christ to everyone on this earth if we're judging people before we actually give them a chance? And then also we need to make sure that we're doing the right thing by letting these people into the churches because they need God more than anyone. So remember that as you see someone, before you judge them, view them with the eyes of God. See how he would see them instead of how you would see them. Also, these set of verses talk about God seeing sin equally. So we're all guilty of sin. Even if you tell a white lie, you might, might as well have killed someone. That is how God views it. He doesn't view it the same way that men do. We have a hierarchy of different offenses that can occur. Some of them have worse punishments than others. Some of them have lesser. However, with God, if you mess up once, you are guilty and you deserve hell. But luckily for us, Jesus died on the cross and paid our price. Faith and actions. Verse 14. My brothers, what good is it for man to say, I have faith, if his actions do not prove it? Can that faith save him? Suppose there are brothers or sisters who need clothes and do not have anything to eat. What good is there if you're saying to them, God bless you, keep warm and eat well, if you don't give them the necessities of life? This is how it is with faith. If it is alone and has no actions with it, then it is dead. But someone will say, you have faith and I have actions. My answer is, show me how you can have faith without actions. I will show you my faith by my actions. You believe that there is only one God? 
Good. The demons also believe and tremble with fear. Foolish man, do you want to be shown that faith without actions is useless? How was our ancestor Abraham put right with God? It was through his actions when he offered his son Isaac on the altar. Can you see? His faith and his actions worked together. His faith was made perfect through his actions. And the scripture came true that said, Abraham believed God, and because of his faith, God accepted him as righteous, and God called him my friend Abraham. So you see that a man is put right when God, with God by what he does, and not because of his faith alone. It was the same with the prostitute Rahab. She was put right with God because of her actions, by welcoming the Jewish messengers and helping them leave by different road. For just as the body without the spirit is dead, so also faith without action is dead. So what these verses here are saying is that we are definitely saved by faith through grace. That's true. But if you do nothing about it and you don't demonstrate that faith by going out and helping others find Jesus or helping someone that's sick or needy or someone that um, need, needs comfort, if you're not going out there and doing things like Jesus would and you have no action in your life that shows that you are a messenger of God, then that faith is not shown. Now, it also talks about how demons even know that God is who he says he is. So simply believing is not enough. We need to trust and obey and go out into the world and be God's disciples. Thank you for listening to this edition of Reading Through the Bible. The next video will be chapter one of James.